politics bore me. Let's not bring it up at all. Good morning. It is the Monday morning cup of coffee. I'm your host, Tommy Womack. I hope it's a good Monday morning for you or whenever you're watching this video. Merry Christmas week. Happy holidays. Hanukkah, uh, Kwanzaa, however you swing. Festivus. Let's all be in the spirit. Barack and I am. Let's have a sip together. I'm going to play you a song that was a single for me that came out in 1999. And it's about a little bear. And uh, he stumbles across a campsite in the woods where the people didn't clean up well enough. And they left a pile of espresso grounds all over the ground outside where their tent had been. And Luigi came along. He was a little kiddie bear. And he didn't know any better. And he lapped up all those espresso grounds off of the earth and wound up too jacked to hibernate. He was the only bear in the woods that didn't hibernate. He saw snow. He saw litter. And then he saw a Christmas miracle. This is called Luigi the Lonely Christmas Bear. Luigi didn't hibernate last year like all the other bears. Espresso grounds on an old campsite called Luigi unawares. He went to work on them with his long tongue lapping. He's tried to settle down for a long winter's napping. Five weeks past his bedtime, Luigi's still walking around. A bout came out of his grizzly skin when he saw the snow come down. And all the other bears were snug in their bed. Visions of honeypots dancing in their head. Watched a lot of movies on Bear HBO. Danced alone at the Bear Disco. Got so lonely he wanted to cry. Heard a bunch of sleigh bells and looked up in the sky. Oh my! Oh my! Luigi, the lonely Christmas bear, could not believe what he saw. A man in a sleigh and a bunch of reindeer all violating gravity, gravity's law. Landed in the snow and said, hey Luigi. You didn't think Santa would forget about you, did ya? Did ya? Tucked him into bed with warm milk and cookies and a brand new teddy boy. Electric socks and a Jill in the box from the island of misfit toys. And he heard him exclaim as they drove out of sight. Merry Christmas, Lou. And he was out like a lion. Luigi the Lonely Christmas Bear. Hey, if you're getting this before 9 a.m. 
on Monday morning, Central Standard Time. Then check out Tommy Womack's Happiness Hour on WXNA 101.5 FM or WXNAFM.org. And uh, I had an article that ran online this morning in the East Nashville and all about Tom Mason's new Christmas record. And we're going to play something from that record on my show tomorrow, 9 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, Tommy Womack's Happiness Hour. Tuesday night, tomorrow night, the usual Tommy Womack live stream show, except this year it's the Christmas show. Me and Lisa Oliver Gray giving you all sorts of Christmas music. We're rehearsing it up, and it's going to be smooth and professional. <laughs> uh, you have a wonderful week. I hope your Christmas is just the bee's knees. It's been a terrible year, and we all deserve to have some Christmas cheer. I'm in the spirit this year, uh, mainly because I know what I'm getting. It's under the tree, and I know what it is, and it's going to be fun. It's a little gadget you know, for, for my music stuff here. I'm not going to say what it is because I'm not supposed to know what it is, but I know what it is. God bless you. Don't let the bastards get you down. It'll all be over soon, no matter what you're thinking ought to be over, and it's been all over before, and it'll be all over again. Like the Buddha says, everything has a beginning and an end. Make your peace with that, and all will be well. God bless you. There's a place for you No matter where you come from No matter what you do If you're lost and lonely And your soul is hungry too There's a place at God's table for you song you just heard is called God's Table. It was written by Bill Lloyd, Lisa Oliver Gray, and me. 
last year with the aim of helping out the little pantry that could, an organization feeding those people in Nashville who have no place else to go. I had a notion about a Bob Geldof, we are the world kind of thing with all our talented friends lending their voices. The project got shelved for a year because everything else got shelved for a year. And uh, this year though, it's time. These are economically desperate times and people you might not have thought were doing anything but all right are actually going hungry. The God's Table PayPal and Venmo links go straight to our treasurer, Peggy Paulson, who sends it right out to the little pantry that could. We have no administrative costs. Every penny that comes in goes straight out to the little pantry that could, so it can keep being the little pantry that could. Thank you, Gretchen Peters, John Hyatt, Marshall Chapman, Lisa Oliver Gray, Mary Gaucher, Amelia White, Kevin Gordon, Webb Wilder, Tim Carroll, Peter Cooper, and Christy Rose for lending your voices. And many thanks to the musicians, Will Kimbrough, Chris Donahue, Brian Owings, and Fats Kaplan, and Brad Jones, who produced and engineered it. The recording session and its resulting video footage was shot in October 2019, so that's why no one is wearing a mask. Just wanted to point that out. Kudos to Stacy Huckabee for putting together this amazing video, and thanks to Alan Messer for additional footage. This isn't a fundraising campaign, okay, with, with a set goal. It's not a Kickstarter. It's not a holiday thing to be forsaken afterward. There is no special God's Table Day. So long as this video circulates, the fund is alive and kicking and paying it forward, be that now or five years from now, because people don't get hungry only on holidays. And there are over 390,000 people in Nashville who suffer from food insecurity. And I'll leave you with one thought. We can go around and around about who's at fault for such a situation, but it's never a kid's fault. And kids are where it's at. You can't teach a hungry child. So please support the God's Table Project, and I'd be much obliged if you would share this video on your social media and perhaps help us get the news media interested in giving it even bigger coverage. The bigger it gets and the longer it goes, the more people will eat. Thank you for tuning in, and God bless you. Stay safe.